Hello and thank you for tuning in to another video tutorial on the Monogram Wizard Plus, today presented by Needleheads. In this lesson we're going to talk about changing the size of our monogram, our lettering, or changing the size of our motifs, and then using the design adjustment section to align our monogram lettering or motifs. So as you see here on the screen we've already entered three initials. R, K, and B. We've drawn them on the screen and we selected an alphabet of Bobo. So the next thing we can do is come down here and adjust the size of our monogram. The letter size here defaulted for this monogram to 3 quarters of an inch or 0.75. Down here in our monogram information we see our overall the size, the size of our design. Our length is 2.03 and our height is 0.78. So if we want to come over here and we want to make our letters taller, we can do it one of two ways. We can use the nudge keys on either side and increase the size of our letters. As you see, it changed 0 0.05, so from 3 quarters of an inch to 0 0.80 of an inch. And we can keep clicking up to fine tune it, to fine tune exactly where we want to be. Or we can click in the box, highlight our number, and type in what we want it to be followed by the draw button. So as you see now we put in a letter size of one and a half inches and you see down here our overall height is right at one and a half inches. The other way we can manipulate the size of the letter is via our letter width. All letter widths start at 100 percent. If we want to decrease the width of our letter we could do that in the same fashion. Either use our nudge keys on the side and fine tune adjust the letter width until we get to about where we want to be or we can click in our box highlight the number and increase or decrease the letter width by typing in the number we desire and then clicking the draw button so as you see here we increased the letter width by 10 percent so it increased to 110 percent and changed the overall length of our design Another way we can manipulate the size of our design is by using kerning. Kerning uh, is defined as the distance between letters, so this distance right here. So if we increase our kerning by using our nudge keys as well, we'll be moving our letters closer together. So increasing the number in the kerning box moves your letters closer together or decreases the distance between them. Decreasing the number in your kerning box spreads your letters apart. So making your kerning number negative will move your letters further apart. If we had a motif on the screen, so if we came in here and selected freestyle, number seven, you can see that our letters now set at an inch and a half are way too big to fit properly with our motif. So we could go in there and increase it by using our motif size. So if we go in here and increase our motif size, we can click in the box and type a number in or use our nudge keys just as we explained before and click the draw button. You can see your motif increase. Now we look down here in our overall length and height and our length is 5.42 and our height is just about 3 inches. So we can go here and continually fine tune our monogram, decreasing the letter size. Okay, we can increase our letter width, same way, just as our motif width, excuse me, same way as we did our letter width by using the nudge keys or typing in. And we can always add a monogramming style. So we could use a monogramming style. And then let's say we want to move those together just a little bit more. We can decrease our kerning. Okay, which there obviously spread our letters more apart. So if we increase our kerning, you see that we can move our letters closer together. And now let's talk about design adjustments. As you see, the R here is on top of the motif. If that's the desired look and feel you're going for, great, you're ready to save. If not, we might want to move our monogram over a little bit so that it fits in this little nook a lot better. So if we increase our design adjustments here in the middle, this is the increments of which we move on the screen, 
The larger the number, the bigger the increments. The smaller the number, the smaller the increments. So I like to start with 3. We select our monogram and we use our arrow key. And four good clicks there at number 3 moved our monogram over into the right spot. Now, if you look here, we might want to move it down just a little bit. And it, just a little bit, so I'm going to go back down to 1 because I want to finely tune this. And I click the down arrow and maybe one more time and then we have the R, K, and B perfectly aligned with our motif. And this has been a tutorial on how to change your letter size, your letter width, your motif size, your motif width, play with the kerning, and use your design adjustments. Have fun with the Monogram Wizard Plus!